Mounting pressure, May de Blasio outlined an emergency plan to address the crisis on Rikers Island. This after lawmakers and advocates toured the jail yesterday, witnessing deteriorating conditions, even an attempted suicide. But critics say that the plan does not go far enough. CBS 2's Andrea Klein Thomas explains. Mayor de Blasio can no longer wait for Rikers Island's impending closure to address decades old problems, especially since 10 detainees have died in custody since December and deplorable living conditions have led to mounting violence. We need to get the hell out of there as quickly as possible. Tuesday, de Blasio outlined an emergency plan that reopens once shuttered areas on Rikers to ease overcrowding and better process detainees, deploys the NYPD to staff the courts, shifting corruption correction officers to the jail, expedites fixing broken cell doors and cleaning, and addresses widespread sick outs of correction officers by requiring a doctor's note and punishes those who don't show up without warning. Any staff member who is AWOL will be held accountable with a 30-day suspension without pay. In response, a correction officer's union is calling on de Blasio to resign, saying it's been years since he visited the jail, adding the ballooning jail population held on more violent offenses has led to officers being, quote, assaulted in record numbers because he refuses to keep them safe. He failed to make a commitment to uh, decarcerating Rikers Island. He has power right now to release over 225 people. Advocates say releasing low-level offenders into supervised programs like what was done during the height of the pandemic is the only way to make a radical change. Both the mayor and governor could make that happen with a stroke of a pen. Instead, the mayor continues to take aim at the courts. Every additional trial would change the situation. Court administrators liken the criticism to quote the captain of the Titanic blaming the iceberg, saying Rikers detainees are not being transported to hearings or given access to their attorneys, stalling the process that's having a devastating impact. Andrea Klein-Thomas, CBS 2 News. And the City Council's Criminal Justice Committee will have a hearing tomorrow to learn more about how the mayor's plan will be implemented along with its impact.